hello beautiful people hi thank you so much for stopping by my channel if you're new here hi welcome my name is Bri Cherie and on this channel we go over budgeting and planning and so that is exactly what I'm doing today um, if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much for your support and I just cannot believe how much growth I had on this channel in the last two months so today we are building our academic planner in my binder that I use for my notes. Some people choose to go out and buy 50 cent planners and have five or six of those. I cannot do that. <laughs> I carry enough things between work and on top of school and you know just I have too many bags and so one way of me just making things easier is I have note paper and grid paper and I really love having both because I love the grid paper to jot things down and the note paper to take notes that that is more formal to me rather than just jotting and so I use both and so here I'm just laying out my course numbers in the IDs and I'm going to put them on dividers. This semester I am taking five classes. I am in my senior level classes or my higher um, advanced level classes, which are 300s or 300s and 400s. Or if your school does 3,000, 4,000, I am in my last set of courses that I need in order to finish my bachelor's degree. And so yes i am just trying to get organized for the semester because i am taking five classes i will be taking a total of six starting october but i just need to make sure that my foundation in my my just organized um and stay organized in the beginning so then that way it follows through for the rest of the weeks and i have a good foundation of like what i'm wanting to do so here what i'm doing is i'm taking my syllabus and i'm tying them to my or i'm putting them behind my dividers for that specific class it's so important for you to have your syllabus and your course schedule um, and i think that most college students know that but I have to have it on paper, I have to fill it in my hands, I have to be able to look at it rather than dig for a file. Um, so I, to me, this just works and I have it all in one um, actual place. And so because I am not doing a digital planner, I having my syllabus on hand to where I can just like flip through when I'm planning through my weeks is just so important to me. And again, um, what I'm doing here is just making sure that I have grid paper and my line paper um, tied to both. And so then that way I can just insert the, the dividers and then boom, just like that. I went ahead and added a piece of paper that had the, the gist of like important information, um, due dates if like things are due on Thursday or Friday or Saturday. Um, I have the professor's hours, work hours, um, and just like very important notes for that particular class. And I did that to all five of my classes. I make sure I always have sticky notes and always have note cards. You just never know. And then I have different types of pens for different reasons. When I'm taking notes really fast, I need a, a thicker pen that uh, glides really smoothly. And I'll have my one of my favorite pens below, but I really, really do love um, fine tip pens as well that works really well for grafting and charting and different things like that my economics class was just full of just different graphs and it, it it was ridiculous but I have to have different pens for different reasons highlighters and whatnot so I need all of that in one place and so this is just a cheaper way of doing that I bought this $8 planner from target i absolutely love it and then what i went ahead and did is my classes start the last week of august so i put the last week of august and i went all the way through and created a calendar all the way through the first week of october and this allowed me to just put whatever i needed um in my i guess calendar my makeshift calendar and so that has definitely changed so i'm going to add in some more but these are when my major assignments are due and so i when i'm flipping through my planner to plan for the week i have 
at least a month worth of material there that I can go ahead and plan. And then I go back and again, look in my course calendar, my syllabus, and make sure that I'm planning effectively and adding in everything that I need to do. So this is, it has Monday through Friday on the left-hand side. And then on the right-hand side, it just has notes and follow-up. And so I'm going to make this something, I'm gonna do this slightly different after making this video, but I need to jazz this up. This is a little too plain for me, and I do like neutrals, but I also like a pop of color. And so I am adding in the days of the week. I didn't have to do this, but again, I'm jazzing it up. I'm making things fun. Like, really enjoy um, being, or like I really enjoy being organized and make it fun, make it fit to your needs. It doesn't just have to be a pen and paper. I mean, if that works for you, great but for me i just like the pop of color i like the motivational words and so i do like the stickers as well um i just can't go overboard and it took everything for me to use these happy planner stickers because i have not touched them in months but they're taking up space and i bought them and i'm going to use them up and be done and try to just stick with smaller companies um, moving forward to try to fit my needs as far as my stickers so I have my Monday through Friday here I'm creating I'm going to draw a line for Saturday and Sunday and of course one of my pens popped so you're going to see a mess all over my paper I don't know what happened I I grabbed some a broken pen and it just destroyed my paper which is fine it's fine like I'm not I'm not one to just like, ah, like that doesn't annoy me because, you know, it is what it is. We'll cover it up. And so, again, adding a flare, a pop of color, um, adding my washi that I <laughs> I barely use. Um, I barely use washi. I can't get into it. But, again, making this fit for me, making this fun, making this enjoyable to not only organize and keep, but keep me motivated at the same time. So, Adding in my Saturday, adding in my Sunday. I have homework due Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Um, and one of those classes, it's literally like three days or four days out the week that something is due. I don't know why they did this, but for whatever reason, they decided, um, okay, well, your class is in in December, but we're going to go ahead and move that up to November. So professors had to just cram in a bunch of work throughout the week so I have just an abundance amount of work to do unfortunately again adding in some color adding in some to do's adding in um, some check uh, checklists and circles for me to write things in I think moving forward after making this video what I'm going to do is get rid of the Monday through Friday layout and just like white it out and then I will put per class so um, instead of Monday, I'll put my psychology class, for example. And I think that might be more efficient because of instead of me looking for the days of the week, I can just go in and list and then put whatever is due that day. And every class will have its own um, section as opposed to the sections being the days of the week. I cannot plan moving forward without these dolls like I don't know what gold mining cocoa like I, why I'm so late on the bandwagon of gold mining cocoa but there is something about just adding these dolls to these sticker dolls to my planner like I just it just I don't know there's something about it that I just cannot plan without it so um I'm hooked on them I'm you know I have some girl dolls that happy planner made but these are more realistic and more detailed and um they just look great they don't look like characters like you know I, they don't look as charactery i guess but yes so i'm adding in some dolls to hide that pink or the the broken pin um marks and i'm going to try my best again jazz it up the way you need to it does not have to be fancy you don't have to go out and buy $200 worth of stickers, but at the same time, just jazz it up to make it 
fit your personality and whatever will help motivate you to stay on task and to make sure that you obviously have to look at your planner to make sure that you're keeping on task. So I keep this planner inside my school folder and you'll see that later. Um, and so, yeah, it just, it has been working for me. I cannot do this five, six notebooks individually. I just, I can't do it. When I need more space and I need more paper for the class, I literally just add in more paper and it costs a dollar. It's, it's so simple. It's so affordable. Um, it is, it takes up less room, less space. And again, it is just, it's efficient compared to the way I used to do it. Um, and so, yeah, I'm just adding in, again, pop of color to match the glasses. And Wednesday is going to be a full moon, so I'm going to add in a full moon. I know some people aren't into, like, the whole um, moon and full moon, new moon type of thing, but I definitely am into that. Um, I love being able to just, like, on full moons, just be able to clear my space and uh, reset my energy and so because I know a full moon is coming it's not on the weekend it's actually on Wednesday but I think it, I thought it just fit well and I had already um, you know dressed up the other doll so um, yes yeah, so this is going to be my basic gist again just something simple not overboard because I obviously still need space to write to, you know, to actually plan. Um, but adding in all of those checklists, adding in goals. Um, I never forget my goals. I never forget my follow-ups or um, reminders for school because literally our professor hit us some with a, a task to do and we had 24 hours to do it and again school just started so being prepared for that making sure that um i every morning i check my not only my actual planner my work planner um but i also check my school planner so i know what my day is going to look like i am just trying to again just stay organized as much as possible make things efficient and you know, staying on task, just doing what I have to do um, and and making it look cute in the process, right? Because I, I guess that's the, that's my goal at least. Um, so yes, I'm just adding in these little checklists. Again, I have a total of five classes. So some, some days I don't have as many classes to work on um, or that I need to study for. So I'm putting between two and three per box. Just knowing that I have that master schedule on that first page that I can see, okay, well, this is all due on this day per cl this class. Um, it just, it really does help me to have a monthly layout in this particular planner does not have that. 2021, I might do something differently, but I'm gonna go ahead and try out this weekly layout. So far, I'm not really loving it because I need more space per class, but uh, I will end up changing it to where instead of Monday, it will actually be the name of the class. So that is it. I'm gonna go ahead and stuff this planner in there. I done talked y'all ears off to death. I do apologize, but I wanted you guys to see like this can be affordable, it can be cheap. You don't have to go out and spend a bunch of money and you can still jazz it up. So if you like this video, go ahead and like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.